Question. What do the lines of the curve adjustment symbols on mixers mean? Answer. Modern turntablists use highly sophisticated crossfaders that often use a notation style that depicts the overlap of the mix between two turntables. The curve means how quickly the sound from one turntable comes in as the fader is moved from closed position to the other side of the fader. I've modified the general curve notation system, in highlighter at the top to always have a black line at the top so it's easier to gauge the difference between the lines which could create an optical misjudgment. After seeing a new TTM notational style by Tony Scratch here that added more shapes for click symbols outside of circular clicks and the QSU slash click font style, I decided to explore the various ways that crossfader curves could be depicted as a mathematic statement as opposed to a character. Since TTM is a mathematic system, black click symbols represent the exact point at which the crossfader clicks the side of the mixer. It's for this reason that I'll be including the live click sound in future Scratch video lectures. The periodic matrix of Scratches depicts clicks as having different circular sizes to represent larger and smaller curves of different faders. A flare scratch using an up and down fader would create a softer sound with a longer period of volume change. In this case the click could be as nearly big and even obscure an entire scratch. Anyone who has transformed with the up and downs before has experienced this large click effect that cuts off most of the sound. So these are a set of experimental click styles that study the morphology of the one. Sharp exact cut off of a transform switch to the two. Scratch style of having a little curve about a centimeter into the three. Blending mode of long overlapping lines. The hamster style crossfader mode is when turntables 1 and 2 are switched with one another. In all of these examples, turntable 1 is colored in green and turntable 2 is colored in blue. In the upper right corner is an example of the decreasing volume of green turntable 1 mixing with the increasing volume of turntable 2 at a constant rate. Below it is the same mix with a non-constant exponential function curve and below that a logarithmic style curve. Below them are an S-curve and an inverse S-curve that came out looking like a fish when put back to back. Also notice that the trim low effect when drawn mathematically, far right, looks like water when it's colored blue. For those who are new to trim low, it's basically the same sound as rapid multiple crossfader movements with a curve to the sound. The rare line of Samurai mixers by Vestax incorporated a trim low, automatic clicks function that many DJs at the time felt was cheating since scratches like crabs and orbits could be done with just one crossfader hand motion. All of the strange shapes at the center of the page that aren't colored up and, stereo, hybrid click curve forms. A crossfader could also control more than just two stereo tracks, it could serve as a master cutoff for an entire symphony if need be with each instrument having its own unique fading curves. Thank you.